Stampers, Diane Demetri with DeeDeeStamps.com and today I'm going to show you how to do this box. I used the Candy Lane Christmas Designer Series paper and it's a great box. It's six by six square with at a three inch depth and so it would fit a, quite a bit of uh, of gift in there I guess you could say. I was thinking I might make these and, and put some baked cookies or candies that I'm going to make for Christmas. So let me show you how I did it. So I began with a piece of Designer Series paper and I'm going to go ahead and use this paper um, with all the gingerbread houses on it. And my Simply Scored board, which is right here. And just to begin with, what you're going to do is you're going to come in with your board and your stylus. And when I am using my stylus with Designer Series paper, because it's a bit thinner than our cardstock, I, I tend to use the fatter end of the stylus and not press so hard because I don't want to punch a hole right through that cardstock. And so what I'm doing here is I'm actually scoring this all the way around at three. And then I'm going to come in and score it at one and a quarter on all sides. Okay, so I'm going to set that piece of paper aside and then I'm going to come in with a 12 by 12 piece of real red cardstock. And in our holiday catalog, I don't know if you noticed, but we do have packs of 12 by 12 cardstock. Um, so we get a single color, so this is real red. And it's just great to, to do lots of different projects. And again, this time I'm coming in and I'm scoring this piece of cardstock at three inches. And once I get these all scored, I'm going to go ahead and cut them. And I'll move that out of the way. And then I'm going to come in with a pair of scissors. And sometimes it's easier if you go ahead and fold your cardstock on those score lines. You will definitely be able to see the line that you want to be cutting on, especially on the cardstock. And so I'm going to cut up on my cardstock along that score line up to the next score to that first score line there. I'm going to do that on both sides. Flip it around and do the same thing on this side. And one of the things that I've um, realized is if you go back in on the flaps and just take out just a bit of a wedge and as you'll see when I finish this, it's not very much. Let me pull that off there. But just enough, you see that little space? To take out some of the bulk in this box. And it just makes the box go to bet go together a little bit easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim out, like I said, just a wedge. on all four corners <laughs> maybe and then this one <laughs> and then on the piece this is going to be the top of my box and again I'm going to go ahead and fold this on my score lines because this one I cut just a bit differently but I really want to be able to see where I'm cutting this particular piece of cardstock or designer series paper. Once I've got them all folded what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to cut these back three pieces completely off. So I'm going to get rid of those. And then on this I'm going to cut in to the next cut line and take just a slight wedge off of that. And actually you could actually take a slight wedge off of this side too. It's just going to make your box um, fold together nicely. You're going to cut each corner exactly like that. So I'll probably speed up the tape while I cut this apart. Okay, so once you have that all cut up, you can see each corner is cut exactly the same. What you're going to do is I'm going to come in with um, Fast Fuse, 
right here and I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and I want that fast, fast fuse to be right along that edge of that right along the edge of those tabs. I'm going to do that on all four of those. And what I found with fast fuse is a lighter touch is better. Don't press so hard, just go lightly and it will come right off and then just kind of do a little check mark. And then once I have that with adhesive on it, I'm going to come along the edge of each of these flaps and put a little fast fuse. Fast fuse sticky strip or um, or liquid mono adhesive works great. Okay, so once I've done that, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these corners and I'm going to um, put them at a 90 degree angle and then press down. And you're going to do that on all four corners, all the way around your box lid. like that. And then this is actually just going to get folded down inside and what that basically does is it just cleans up the inside of your box, covers up those tabs, and makes it look pretty. So there's your lid to your box. Very quick and easy. Same thing with this one. You're going to come in with fast fuse and again on these tabs you're going to put a light, light adhesive on each edge of your box. And once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and again, you're going to lay those up to a 90 degree angle and make sure they're stuck good. And that is how you put your box together. Super simple. But how much fun is that? And then your lid of your box is going to be a tight fit, but it's going to fit right over the top of your box like that. And that's how quick and easy you can make this box. Now I'm going to jazz it up a little bit because, you know, I never like to leave well enough alone. I'm going to take a little of our um, Wink Estella and I'm going to add just a bit of glitter. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm just going to go around and add some glitter to the snow on all of these little houses. And again, it just jazzes up your box a bit. gives it a little bit more dimension. Okay, once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and make a little tag for my box and then I'm going to add it on to the top of my box. I'm going to come in with our label punch. This is a two inch by three and a half inch strip of Whisper White cardstock. Go ahead and stamp that down and I've got this great tag, the beginnings of one. I'm going to bring in a stamp from this stamp set, Sweet Seasons. One of the things I like about this is that these stamps actually coordinate with the designer series paper in the holiday mini catalog. So that's kind of fun. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this like sugar and spice stamp. And another fun thing in our holiday catalog is a couple markers that are sold as a set. And so you can get real red and crumb cake markers. And one of the techniques that I like to do is I'm going to come in with crumb cake and just go ahead and ink up some of the words on this stamp. And honestly, it doesn't matter if I go over a little bit because I'm going to come in with a darker color, which is this red, and do the words on the inside here. So that'll take care of any any that I went over with the crumb cake. I'm just going to be a little bit more careful with this one. And once I've got that done, I can haw on it and stamp it down. And I've got that two-tone look You're just using markers with your stamp. So that's just a fun, another fun way to add to your stamps. And then to jazz this up just a little bit more even, I'm going to take a piece of washi tape. And this is the washi tape that coordinates with the um, candy cane designer series paper. I'm going to trim these off. I could have just folded them behind, but I'm just going to trim them off. And then if I want to finish off my tag even just a little bit more, I can come in with our Project Life corner rounder. And I'm going to slide that in there. And you can see that corner comes right through there. As long as they're these edges are butted up against the edge of that punch, you're good, you're probably right where you need to be. And then just give it a little bit of finishing touch. So that's ready to go. And then the last thing I'm going to do is come in with our great new stitched ribbon. And I can wrap this around my box. So I would start on the top of my box. 
wrap it around underneath, twist it, and come back around the top, and then tie it off into a bow like this. And then, and then I just tied the tag on with a little bit of linen thread. But you can make some really fun looking boxes. I've got this cover that I put the um, Winka Stella on, and then this one here I did the other night using just a different sheet of that. And I've got lots of boxes ready to go um, for Halloween gift or Halloween Christmas gift giving. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. You can comment down below, or you can email me at my um, email at dianeatdeedystamps.com. Or you can visit my website, www.ddstamps.com. Sign up for my newsletter where I send out tips, tricks, and techniques every week. Thanks, and I hope you have a great day.